What's up, everybody? When the ASC Softball Conference Championship gets here, you can bet UT Tyler and East Texas Baptist will be there. This rivalry has been going on for years. Today they met for the ASC Conference Championship. 0-0 in the third. Lacey Lindsay for the Lady Tigers. Laces one to right field. Look at Lindsay Lewis hustling around, and she dives in to beat the tag. 2-0 lead, and they are fired up. Fourth inning, K.K. Stevens trying to get a rally started for the Lady Pats. She gets the first base on the single, but Kelly Jo McClendon, she was the story today. Big time strikeout right there. Threat is over. Sixth inning now, Shelby Earlbeck drive to left, but Kristen Lopez full extension to make the out, and here we go. Bottom six, UT Tyler's best shot as Vanessa Caraballis gets the single. Two ladies on base. Here comes the common theme. Kelly Jo McClendon digs deep again. What a strikeout. Lady Patriots down to their final out. Kaylee Prather at the plate. She's going to slice one over the left fielder's head. And look at the speed diving in for the triple. And now UT Tower has the senior, the clutch hitter, Raven Rodriguez. That's who you want at the plate. But Kelly Jo gets her to pop out to right field. And... That's right, it is party time. Check it out there, celebrate with the dog pile. A tough week for ETBU with the death of two students, but the Lady Tigers able to beat the Lady Patriots two to nothing. They get an automatic bid to the regionals. UT Tyler likely will get an at-large bid since they're number one in the country. They will find out on May the 9th. Here's the hero of the day and the MVP of the tournament, Kelly Jo McClendon. Oh, it meant so incredibly much, you know, for my senior year to go out on this note and to con continue our season is such a blessing, you know. We knew that this was the way that we were going to continue. You know, in the back of their mind, they always know that they're capable of beating UT Tyler anytime we set foot on their field. And we have played here so much that it's almost like home field advantage for us. But, you know, the girls do a great job of rising to the challenge and, you know, we're proud of them. They know they didn't play well and to play well for four months and then to have it come down to an off weekend at this time of the year, they're disappointed for sure. Now for the TJC softball team, they had to go all the way through the loser's bracket to try and win the Region 14 tournament. Now they beat Panola in their first game 3-2, but you could tell they were worn out losing to San Jack 7-2 in the second game, but that's okay. They got to the finals, which qualifies them for the Junior College National Tournament.